welcome in bizarre non-tutorial for one small little thing which will change the way you edit in Final Cut Pro. Let me explain. The problem is that we have way too many things. There is a coffee everywhere, a coffee. Oh, maybe I should do a coffee. Am I procrastinating again? Or it's just the coffee? Anyway, the more things we own, the more they can screw up our lives. The thing is that my friends come with a visit and I have plenty of towels, but unfortunately they're all dirty. So now I have no other choice than to go and buy one. Let's go. Unfortunately, I have no car. Fortunately, I may know the place where they do have towels. This is the place. They have a lot of blankets. So time is running out and I haven't bought a towel yet. So let's go. Time is running by. It's getting darker and there is fewer people outside. I still didn't get my towels. They should have some towels, but unfortunately they are closed, so I have to go somewhere else. So I have to look for Let's go here. Finally, I got my towel mission accomplished. Fortunately, it wasn't the only things I bought this day. How easy it is to oh, buy wait. stuff. Nice bathing robe. Yeah, I really wonder how we end up with all of those things. Unfortunately, we take those bad habits into our digital world when we have way too many apps, programs, tutorials, which we are not really using properly. And they are just cluttering our hard drives, our screens. Those are the things which make us procrastinate. That's happening when you have too many stuff, too many things, and you do not control them. Let's bring some order and structure to our editing process. If you double click those tags, then you have three options. The second one is amazing, it is to-do list. So by clicking complete, it will change the color to green. You really can get rid of all those paper lists when you try to track what's going on. No more electronical one when I have timestamps and I'm trying to control the flow outside the Final Cut Pro. Now everything is integrated into your timeline. Isn't it amazing? Next one is the orange fellow. Those are chapters and they're really powerful. You not only see what are you working on, but how long it should be. That's really game changer for me. And at the moment you can say it doesn't look very organized. But wait, if you go here, you have those three tags. This one show you all open points. Next one, what you have already accomplished and it's done. And the last one shows you the chapters. Those are interactive. So by clicking, you're just jumping to the chapter you want to work on. That's really amazing. So, I hope you enjoy those little tips and you will use them in your editing process. I also encourage you to study your programs more truthfully because you can discover really powerful things as we have just seen. And as for me, I will definitely do it in everyday life. In fact, I catch up on some old tutorials. I have also made a whole project on the app which I bought ages ago. Never used. I go through my application list, deleted a lot of them and used few which were really helpful. And as a bonus, I ended up with clean towels. 